In this video, we'll show you how to install the amazing sound of Harley-Davidson audio powered by Rockford Fosby. Welcome back, I'm Greg with Rockford Fosgate and today we're going to show you how to perform a complete 8 speaker setup. Depending on your specific configuration, the sequence of steps will vary from the 2, 4 or 6 speaker system. When installing a 2 or 4 speaker system, you'll utilize a single primary amplifier. This will mount in your left hand or clutch side saddlebag. When installing a 6 or 8 speaker system, you will add the secondary amplifier to the right hand or brake side saddlebag. We have the Stage 1 kit on this 2020 Road Glide Limited and this 2021 Ultra Limited has a Stage 2 kit. Both stages are designed for the ultimate rider's experience, whether you're utilizing one or two amplifiers. During the installation process, we'll be deferring you to your product eye sheets in the Harley-Davidson Service and Repair Manual. We include the product eye sheets with your kits, but if you don't have the service manual, it can be purchased through your local Harley-Davidson dealership, or it's also available to be ordered online at harleydavidson.com. You will see these icons appear in the lower part of your screen when you need to reference them. These will help guide you through the installation for your particular year and model motorcycle. Before you get started, you want to be sure that your motorcycle is secure and protect your paint to avoid any damages. You never want to work on the electrical system while the battery is still connected. This could cause a short and damage your electronics. Start by removing the seat and detaching the ECM caddy to access and disconnect your battery negative. This will also give you the space needed to run your new wiring harnesses. Now you're ready to remove the upper fairing, speaker pods, and the grills. If you're performing this installation on a Road Glide model, you'll remove the upper fairing and the headlight assembly. The next step is to remove the gas tank and center wire and trough cover from the motorcycle. Be sure to be careful when disconnecting that fuel line. Now that that's done, let's remove your stock saddlebag lids. This will make it easier to do the amplifier installation. For stability, we prefer to take this step while the saddlebags are still mounted on the motorcycle. Okay, let's remove the clutch side saddlebag. Let's take a minute to explain the bulkhead drilling template. 
We designed this to work below the rear mounting holes on both saddlebags for your primary and your secondary amplifiers. The template gives you the exact locations of your six mounting holes as well as your two bulkhead plugs. In the case that you're running a single wire to your saddlebag speaker from the primary amplifier, it also gives you the location of the three quarter inch hole needed. This will eliminate any guesswork and ensures proper alignment for every install. To prepare your saddlebag for drilling, cover the area with the masking tape to protect the paint. Seat the template around the rear mounting hole so that it is flush with the top lip of the saddlebag for proper alignment. Now secure the template in place. Using a hole punch, clearly mark your eight holes and then remove the template for reference. Next, you're going to use a 1364 inch drill bit for the six outside mounting holes and then use a two and a half inch hole saw on the two inside holes. Now that that's done, go ahead and take a minute to clean up. Make sure to remove the cross section and any burrs left on the mounting holes. This will ensure you get a tight seal when mounting the bulkhead to the bag. Moving to the amplifier and mounting bracket, start by attaching the two provided rubber grommets on the bracket, and then attach the two stud pins on the amplifier on the harness plug side. Now let's connect your bulkhead. Slide the stud pins on the amplifier into the rubber grommets on the bracket. Now lock the amplifier in place. After that's done, attach the amplifier cover, securing it with the two provided bolts and then you'll clip on your wiring harness cover. Before you mount your amplifier and bulkhead, we recommend test fitting in the saddlebag. Make sure the amp is in proper placement and the bulkhead lines up with the mounting holes. When you're ready, secure the bulkhead with the six provided bolts using a T15 wrench. Now remove the backing tape and firmly press a bracket to the saddlebag. Let's take a moment to talk about the primary wiring harness. On one end, you have your two connectors that feed through the bulkhead to the primary amplifier. Moving down the cable, you'll have your A to B connector. This is used to connect to your secondary amplifier. If you're running a single amplifier system up to four speakers, you will need to install the provided cap cover. Next in line, you'll find your power terminals. This is where you connect to the battery. You'll have to install the 40 amp fuse provided in the kit. Now you'll have your two CAN connectors. These will communicate with the motorcycle. Finally, we have our two audio outputs. The larger plug is designed to connect to the front upper fairing kit, and the smaller plug will connect to any additional speaker configuration. To lay out your primary harness, start by removing the clutch side service panel and the two bolts holding the fuse box cradle. Next, feed the bulkhead side of the harness through the battery compartment along the top side of the cradle towards the rear of the motorcycle. When routing the harness, follow the contour of the fender and get as close to the shock assembly as possible, keeping proper clearance from any moving parts. We always recommend test fitting your saddlebag to ensure you have proper wiring clearance. Once you're done test fitting, secure the harness to the frame eyelets using the provided zip ties. Then secure the fuse box cradle back in place. Now you're ready to install the Bluetooth dongle harness. Remove the brake side saddle bag and service cover. Route the CAN connectors on the primary harness through the opening on the brake side service compartment. Next, locate and disconnect your motorcycle's female CAN plug. Disconnect the accessory port and remove the terminating plug. So from the terminating plug, we're gonna reuse a plug fastener to reattach the accessory on the Bluetooth dongle harness. Now let's walk through the CAN connections. Attach your male connector on the primary harness to the female connector on the motorcycle. Utilizing the Bluetooth dongle harness, plug the male connector into the female connector on the primary harness. Next, attach the female can connector on the Bluetooth dongle harness to the terminating resistor cap on the motorcycle. This leaves your accessory plug on the Bluetooth dongle harness. Secure it to the motorcycle and connect it to the accessory port for power.
Now connect your Bluetooth dongle to the end of the Bluetooth dongle harness. Mount the module using the dual lock tape and secure it with the provided zip ties. Now you're ready to route the front upper speaker harness. Start by feeding the harness from the front of the upper fairing through the wiring trough to the battery compartment. Make your connection to the primary harness and secure it using the provided zip ties. Now you're ready to remove the speakers. Using a T25 wrench, remove the four screws from the front of the speaker and then disconnect the speaker terminals from the back. Please take note of the polarity. You'll need to remember this when installing your new speakers. Now let's install your new speakers. We have designed these speakers specifically for the rider's position. Reference your eye sheet that came with the kit when selecting your left and right speaker. Using the provided hardware, secure the new speakers noting the polarity of the terminals and the orientation of the front logos. Once that's done, you're ready to install your new Harley-Davidson audio powered by Rockford Fosgate grills. Start by securing the mounting ring to the back side of the fairing. Now feed your grill from the front of the fairing and attach it to the mounting ring with the provided hardware. Now secure your pods back onto the upper fairing. Now that the speakers are installed, you're ready to make your wiring connections. Plug in the new wiring harness, noting they are labeled for left hand and right hand speaker. Once that's done, take the remote power wire and plug it into your accessory power port located in the upper brake side of the fairing. You will most likely need to remove the port cap attached. To add the secondary amplifier, you'll need to prep the saddlebag to mount the bulkhead. You'll start by protecting the paint just like you did with the primary amplifier. Remember that for this application, the template will be mounted in reverse direction. Again, make sure that the top of the template is flush with the top lip of the saddlebag and secure it in place. Using a hole punch, clearly mark your eight holes and then remove the template for reference. Now use a 1364 inch drill bit for the six mounting holes and the two and a half inch hole saw for the two inside holes. Make sure to remove your cross section and any burrs left on the mounting holes. This will ensure that you get a tight seal when you mount the bulkhead to the bag. Moving to the amplifier and mounting bracket, start by attaching the two provided rubber grommets to the bracket and attach the two stud pins to the amplifier on the harness plug side.
Now let's make your wiring connection. Now slide the stud pins on the amplifier into the rubber grommets on the bracket and lock the amplifier in place. After that's done, we'll attach the amplifier cover, securing it with the two provided bolts. And then you'll clip on your wiring harness cover. Before you mount your amplifier and bulkhead, we recommend test fitting in the saddlebag. Make sure that your amp is in proper placement and the bulkhead lines up with the mounting holes. When you're ready, secure the bulkhead with the six provided bolts using a T15 wrench. Now remove the backing tape and firmly press the bracket to the saddlebag. Now you're ready to lay out the jumper cable. First, attach the extension cable to the jumper cable. Now route the jumper cable through the brake side service panel towards the rear of the motorcycle. This will connect the output plug of the primary wiring harness directly to the bulkhead mounted on the right side saddlebag. Let's take a moment to talk about your secondary wiring harness. On one end, we have the connector that feeds through the bulkhead to the secondary amplifier. Moving down the cable, you'll have your A to B connector. This is used to connect to your primary amplifier. Next in line, we have our power terminals. This is where you connect to the battery. You will have to install the 40 amp fuse provided in the kit. And finally, we have our output plugs. These are used for the six in the eight speaker configurations. To lay out the secondary wiring harness, start by feeding the bulkhead side of the harness through the brake side service compartment. Follow the contour of the fender and get as close to the shock assembly as possible, keeping proper clearance from any moving parts. We always recommend test fitting the saddlebag to ensure you have proper wiring clearance. Once you're done test fitting, secure the jumper cable in this harness to the frame eyelets using the provided zip ties. Now you're ready to attach your A to B connectors from your secondary to your primary harness. Next, route the jumper cable, output, and power plugs to the battery compartment. Connect your jumper cable to the output plug on your primary wiring harness. Now that you have your harnesses laid out, you're ready to reinstall the saddlebags back onto the motorcycle. You'll start by reinstalling the service covers and then your saddlebags. Make sure that you firmly secure your bulkhead connections before tightening your saddlebags into place. And now it's time to install the saddlebag speaker lids. Now that that's done, you're ready to install the saddlebag speakers. Remember, we designed these speakers specifically for rider's position, so refer to your eye sheet that came with the kit when selecting your left and right speaker. You'll start by placing the speakers into the opening. Secure the speakers to the lid using the long screws provided in the kit using the T20 wrench. Once that's done, insert the rubber grommets into the grill mounts and secure the grills with the short screws from the back side of the saddlebag lid using that same T20 wrench. Now you want to run and secure your speaker wire from the harness and make your connections noting the polarity. Now you're ready to remove the speakers from the Torpak pods. Using a T10 wrench, remove the four screws from the front of the speaker and disconnect the speaker terminals from the back. We recommend disconnecting the rear audio communication plug to give you some slack. And now you're gonna to wanna to remove the wire grommet from the pod.
Now tape and secure the factory speaker connectors out of the way because they will not be used. Now you're ready to lay out your Torpak wiring harness. Start by connecting to the audio output plug on your secondary wiring harness. Once that's done, route the harness back towards the rear of the motorcycle and into the enclosure holes. We have included a grommet and zip ties to help secure the harness to the enclosures. To retain the rear controls, you'll need to reconnect the audio communication plug at this time. Now you can install your Torpak speakers. Replace the captive nuts with the provided new ones. We recommend a pre-thread before installation. Make sure you check the polarity of the harness when making your speaker connections. Then use a T10 wrench in the provided hardware to secure the speaker and grills. Now let's get some speakers in your lower fairings. First, remove the enclosure covers. Then we'll disassemble the lower pods. Connect our wiring to the secondary harness and feed the cable up through the wiring trough and down to the lower fairing. Now reassemble your pods. Now you're ready to install your front lower speakers. First, connect the speaker to the terminals, making sure your polarity is correct. Then you can lock in the speaker enclosure assembly. Now that we're finished with the installation of this eight speaker system, it's time to put the motorcycle back together. Let's start by cleaning up and securing any loose wiring. Once that's done, you could reassemble the rest of the motorcycle and make your battery connections. All right, now that we have the motorcycle assembled and everything put back together, let's walk you through the steps of tuning utilizing the Harley-Davidson Audio powered by Rockford Fosgate mobile app. In this step, we're gonna show you how to tune the motorcycle using the manual process. Your first step is gonna to be to make sure that your Bluetooth is on the device and you're gonna turn the bike into the accessory mode position. At that point there, we're gonna launch the app on your device. You'll have a safety warning. You'll click OK. From there, we're gonna click the plus button to add devices and then we're gonna select that motorcycle under my devices. It's gonna ask you to set up the pin. And then the option for a QR scan or manual setup will appear. We're gonna choose a manual setup. Your next step here is gonna give you your select speaker stage type. So on this bike here, we have our stage two kit. Setup confirmation is gonna give you everything that you chose. Our next page will be start the white noise. Pick the speaker that you're hearing the white noise come from 
and it will go through the cycle, whether it's two, four, six, or an eight speaker configuration. Once that's complete, it will say update successful, okay? And then finish. Now that you're reading success on that, your bike has been updated. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna recycle the motorcycle. This generally takes about 25 seconds. On this step, we're gonna show you how to tune the motorcycle using the QR codes. Your first step is gonna be to make sure that your Bluetooth is on the device and you're gonna turn the bike into the accessory mode position. At that point there, we're gonna launch the app on your device. You'll have a safety warning. You'll click OK. From there, we're going to click the plus button to add devices. And then we're going to select that motorcycle under my devices. It's going to ask you to set up the pin. And then the option for a QR scan or manual setup. We're going to choose a QR scan. Your next step here is going to scan the QR code provided on the eye sheets. There are two QR codes on the eye sheets. One is for stage one and the other is for stage two. If you select the wrong one, you can repeat this process. Once you're done adding your speakers, confirm that everything looks okay and select the save and proceed. Our next step will be starting the white noise. Pick the speaker that you hear the white noise coming from. It will go through the complete cycle, whether it is a two, a four, six, or eight speaker configuration. Once that's complete, it will say update successful. Click OK and finish. Now you're ready to power cycle your motorcycle. This generally takes about 25 seconds. All right guys, so that completes the eight speaker setups on a stage one and stage two. We got great sound on great motorcycles. If you have any questions or prefer a professional to do the installation, please don't hesitate to contact your local Harley-Davidson dealership. Until next time, I'm Greg from Rockford Fosgate and we'll see you again soon.